what to see, what to stream, and what to skip. It's Movie Reviews with Ryan J. And we are back with the nationally syndicated <laughs> entertainment critic and our island of fire, oh, Ryan J. I don't even know what that means. It I means a lot. Either. Are you trying to say that I'm flaming? <laughs> <laughs> Show your socks. Happy Show month. Show your socks. Happy, Happy Pride, Pride month. month. Thank you. Happy Pride you Month to you. Rainbow pink. Mm. You got the rainbow socks. Yeah, You're looking I, great. I love you the theme. You should see his undies. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah, wait, hang on. I'm going to drop them. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. That's great. Okay, what do you want to say about Fire Island? Now, this is a rated R, and it's on Hulu. Yes, and it's a comedy perfectly timed for Pride Month. It's a rom-com about that true place, Fire Island. It's like a gay haven for, for people on the south shore of New York's uh, Long Island, and I actually got to catch up with the writer and star, Joel Kim Booster, and Andrew Ahn, who is the director. Take a look. This week is sacred. We're going to Fire Island. And this is why straight people hate us. I was telling some straight friends of mine about Fire Island and the film, and they were like, wait, that's a real place? Have you guys ever had that reaction? A number of straight people have uh, asked me if it's about Fire Festival, and I have to explain, no, it's actually not. It's like off the coast of Long Island, and it's a gay haven, enclave. Sometimes people think that it's a made up place, um, but I, I love that it's a real place with real history. Finally, my girls have arrived! How many summers did you guys spend vacationing on Fire Island, you know, for research for this movie? <laughs> I've been going since 2016, um, and I've been multiple times in, in one summer. I'm excited to go back when I'm not working. With a minority, often marginalized community like the LGBTQIA plus community, it still astounds me that we can see classism, racism, homophobia, but art can contend with that. And in what ways would you say your film does so? Well, I think it's a part of it is just laying it bare, right? You know, I think like there's this idea that because we're marginalized, like we don't have issues within our own community. And I think like showing the ways in which gay men oppress each other when there's no one around to oppress us is, is you know, sort of the first step in addressing it. Excuse me, I think you may have the wrong house. To sort of depict the realities of, of what a place like this can be for certain people if you don't look right or act correctly or, you know, fit in. What are we gonna like hug and wrap this up? How does this end? I love that. How does this end? <laughs> yeah, right? It's a really funny movie, and I like that it's also poignant. You know, those movies where you can laugh but also get something out of it. Yeah. yeah. So this is based on a true story. It is. Since he writes and co-stars in this movie, it is very autobiographical. It's a lot about his relationship with Bo and Yang from SNL. Mm -hmm. They're real-life best friends, and so they are also co-starring in this movie with other friends, and it, you can see that that chemistry is real. Cute. Cute. So it's super funny, too. So funny. You've got Margaret Cho in there. I laughed out loud so She's many so times. Hilarious. And also Conrad Ricamora is in there, who I loved from How to Get Away with Mur Murder. It's the family you choose. Stream it on Hulu. It's a great pride movie. Love it. Cute. All right, the next one is Watcher Ray. R. This is in theaters. And this is a thriller that is about a couple from America who relocates to Romania. The husband is working there and understands the language and can speak, and the wife does not know the language, and she's not working, and so she's a little bit isolated. Mm -hmm. And it takes place at a time when there is a killer on the loose, a serial killer, oh. who is uh, hunting women alone oh. in apartments, oh. and they live in an apartment without window treatments, and there's a creeper across the way. Of course they Thus, live in a house without window treatments. <laughs> Thus, watcher. Is mm -hmm. it suspenseful? Not really. Oh. It's more slow. Like, I was okay. interested. There was something else that hooked me and kept me going, but the suspense wasn't that strong, partly, I think, because of the lack of character development. They're pretty mm. one-dimensional, and okay. I was waiting to know a little bit more about their past or what brought them together or why they're so close together. Was it a good ending, then, at the least? The ending is great, and so I really enjoyed oh. that. So, But you're kind of questioning, is she just paranoid yeah. or is she, and having a breakdown, or is she legitimately fearing for her safety? Stream it. It's in theaters, but I'd say wait to stream it. Okay. okay. I like that. Well, I would, I would totally watch that. Good mm -hmm. to know. Yeah, The Boys Season 3. Now, this is on Prime Video. Yes. TV. 
Yeah. Okay. And, you know, I love The Boys. Have you guys ever seen this show? I no. can't remember. It sounds familiar, but honestly, you know, I, I never haven't remember. seen it. It's so good. I love that it's back for season three because okay. we missed a year. We had to wait an extra year because of the pandemic. And this is like a superhero genre program for people that don't even like superheroes because it's that theme of almost like Wicked, you know, how the person and the people that you assume are good are sometimes actually not the good guys mm -hmm. yeah. or the bad guys. So it's thin, a thin veil almost like for the humanity and all of us that, that you just make assumptions about people and those people that have this one image might actually be something different on the flip side. Well, that's Ooh, deep. I okay. feel like we need to write an essay. <laughs> <laughs> Seeing these images, I know I haven't seen this before. Is, okay. is it violence? It is so violent in the best way. And I oh. can't believe these words are flying out of my mouth, but it's violent in a like, creative, fun, and cool way. It's <laughs> super gory, but there's also a comical element to the violence oh, and the blood. Okay. Oh. Kind of so, like the orchid it, praying yeah, mantis. Yeah. It's very, yeah, it's very interesting and makes it, it really heightens the experience of the show. And I, I love it. I'm excited that they're going to be doing a fourth season. So the first three season, the first three episodes of season three today on Prime Video, stream it. And uh, it's a lot of fun. Okay. Oh, love interesting. it. Have a great weekend. Thanks yeah. so much. Yeah, you too. Happy Pride Month. Thank to you. you. You as yeah. well. Thanks for sharing the, the great Thanks. reviews. We love mm. it. Yeah. You can like Ryan J on Facebook, follow him on Instagram and Twitter. And for his full entertainment reviews, check out his website. It's ryanjreviews.com.